Hey folks, welcome back. We've got Noble Rambler and my daughter Sarah. Hello. And we are, we're, we're back in Stardew obviously, but we're going to change the rules a little bit. One thing about narrating is I spend so much time talking and, and trying to interact is I kind of miss the game and Stardew has a timer that won't quit. You can hit escape and that kind of acts as pause, but then you can't talk about what's on your screen because it takes it away. So unlike Stranded where I can pause and move around the whole map and just discuss plans and things, this one won't let me. So we found a couple of mods we've installed in the game. Let me turn that back off. Um, we've got a mod called Time Speed and it allows me to actually slow down and speed up the game. So the game normally runs through 10 minutes up there in 7 seconds. I've adjusted it to feel more like 15 seconds. There we go. So the game will last, the day will last longer, which means we can do more things and, and interact more and show you more things and just have more fun. It's not the way the game was intended to be played, but it's how we're going to play for recording a video. And also added in CJB cheats menu. Not so much to cheat. Wait a minute, did I get that backwards? No, that's right. No, because it it, can... it allows me to reset that 6 a.m. Because it takes us a while to... Um, but can I pull that up? Yeah. So it, you, it's a, it allows you to fine-tune a game to do all kinds of different things that you want. But our point is that I can go through... Why am I not scrolling? It's just the one page. Okay. I can go through and say, no, 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 no. Go back to 6 a.m. Because it took so long to log in and uh, you know, set up a co-op and, and whatnot. So it allows me to reset to, to start the video. But one other thing that you notice the 6 a.m. is still sitting up there. The um, time speed allows me to pause while I'm anywhere on the map. So I can stop and talk about things and not lose daylight while I'm not playing the game. So it, it gives us a little more control to make videos, that's all. It doesn't really change the gameplay so much. We're not adding money in or that sort of thing. So I can go ahead and time feels as usual now, though it's going to feel twice as slow because we've got to set for 15 seconds instead of 7 seconds. But when it comes down to it, that day goes by really fast. And when you're talking about what you're doing instead of doing... You don't get much done. Anyway, let's wander. Oh, let's go up to the TV and see what's going on. That is an E. That is not an E. It's a click. It's not a click. Uh, okay, weather report. <laughs> I think today was supposed to be sunny. Tomorrow, click again. And partially cloudy with a light breeze. Lots of pollen in the air. Okay, so again, living off the land. So we get some tips here. They're kind of fun. Um, this one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town. That's right, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out in the dirt. Yeah, there's a, a money source there for us. And we can later, what, pickle them and do other things with them? Mm. Yeah. All right, so turn you off. Let's run outside and see what, what awaits us. Ah, who are you? You're Clint. Uh, hi there. Good morning. <laughs> I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. I found ore? I found yeah. rocks. That's oh, good. Boy. Somewhere. If you want to get the most out of the ore you find, you'll need a furnace. Good point. Oh, that's you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, who's visiting me now? Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, I want you to have them. Okay, well, thank you. Ooh, blueprint. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've learned furnace, and you're still staring at me. <laughs> um, awkward. Oh, you're not done yet. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, constructing, and tool upgrades. Okay. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Yeah, that's interesting. Because you've got to pick the tool you don't need to use the next four days, is it? it takes them a while. Yeah. Um, well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. All right, so that one. Now we know Clint, and he's way over on the other side of the map. 
We've got a... Actually, check your farms for a sec. Because oh. I had my... I had that sheet open from uh -huh. my old game, and I set it to auto water crops, so we might have to... That oh. might have affected yours. Did it... Oh, so on yours, you said to auto water. Yeah. Though mine isn't. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, we'll let it go this time. Why don't you pop into yours and reset things while I'm reading mail. Yeah. And that, okay, and that way... We won't have any, don't want to actually have the game do things for us. And sometimes that uh, that happens. Mm -hmm. I keep finding cool stuff, but my paycheck is full. It's an advertisement. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like you? Well, Piers got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Mm -hmm. I want the big backpack, but we need more money to do that. And what's difficult about doing a co-op play where are you oh you're busy doing things but you're you're in stasis over here just mm -hmm. kind of staring off into nowhere while you're changing things on your screen over there is that we're sharing a bank account so i spent all of our money on seeds the other day and it's 10 a.m no no pause <laughs> see that's what i'm talking about I've gone through almost the whole morning and i haven't even pl played the game yet because i'm making a video so yeah we're we're going to make the day longer and we're going to pause once in a while, even if the game wasn't meant to do that. Anyway, we need more money. We need twice as much as you would normally need because there's two people trying to upgrade their backpack for 2000 or whatever that costs. Mm -hmm. So, plus upgrade our tools and do all the other things. So, we're with t twice as long of a day, we should be able to accomplish more productivity something like that so we need to get this guy cleaned out so we can get more farming and we need to get more seeds um how about i run over and grab seeds it is thursday that means piers is open turn time back on and let me pop in i never even how come my back oh my backpack doesn't show up unless i have my mouse i don't know wasn't showing there for a moment. Anyway, um, I was about to say, I sure hope I emptied my backpack last it's time. At the top now. That's why I was <laughs> looking down here and there was no backpack. Mm -hmm. All right, now stop holding that like an idiot. <laughs> Run over here. <laughs> um, I don't think we did this last time. There's so many things to do. Right click on, that's not what I want. How do I get to the message board? Um, next to it, to the right, there's two options there. Well, so if you where are you seeing that? Scoot to the right a little bit and hit those white papers. So move your character. So click on those guys. Other side. Those guys? Yeah, move your character in front of that spot. Okay, <laughs> that was painfully difficult. <laughs> Nothing is posted today. It's pretty sad. Thank subtle. you. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Are we done yet? Mm -hmm. Video over? <laughs> All right, Pierre. Now, in order to talk to Pierre himself, you got to get behind the counter, which seems strange going behind some store clerk's counter. <laughs> like, hey, you don't belong here. Hey, it's Mr. Rambler, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. And it was the same price as dumping it in the the bin. Yeah. I did check that out once long ago. And we've got, um, oh, what's his name there? Elliot? For, yeah, but in real life. Who's <laughs> the, the guy? That, the Fabio. That's, I call him Fabio. <laughs> anyway, Pierre. Seeds. We want something that, well, parsnips mature in four days. Is my timer still running when I'm in this mode? I want to talk um, for a while. Yeah, when we're multiplayer, it'll always run unless you're using okay. a mod. I'm just looking at that 30. Wait to see if it turns to a 40. It did. Let me pull out of this. What? Escape and pause. So I can sit here and talk for a while. So, of course, I'm talking to a lot of people who know how to play Stardew Valley. But there's always a, those few who have never played this before. And it's kind of interesting. But... What, it takes a while to pause and look over all of the different stats. Parsnips grow quickly. They only take four days, but they make a lot less money when you sell them. They cost less to buy them. So you could mass farm a whole bunch of parsnips, or you could 
put in just a few well beans not a good example but cauliflower costs a lot more takes a lot more time to do it but you make a lot more money for your effort so in the end i wonder if it balances out yeah i've i found that um cauliflower is definitely the most lucrative um but also potatoes and kale are pretty good for a, a little bit lower price when you're playing alone the added um what's the word i want influence mm. to this is that we can both water so we can get the watering done twice as fast mm. so we could deal with a less lucrative one do more of them and not waste our entire day watering though we do waste energy mm -hmm. and so i've got to get more of my little uh, snack bars i like yeah. snack bars <laughs> Anyway, mm. cauliflower is 80, and you said kale and what? Kale and potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes is where I kind of concentrated on my own playthrough. Because mm -hmm, there's a chance to get multiple with each one also. That's right. So potatoes, let's go ahead and put a crop in. I've got enough. Now, is there anything else we need to spend the money on today other than just seeds? Not really. Yeah. Not much to buy except for the backpack, mm -hmm. uh, fishing poles. Yeah, we're good for now. And what else is there to buy besides? Uh, upgrading your tools. Okay, well, that's that's um, ore. Mm -hmm. That's bars, so it's not money. You also have to pay for them, though. At, oh. From Clint. It isn't just bars. Oh, okay, that's right. It takes the ores in order to do the upgrade, but it takes the uh, the money to get for his services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, need, <laughs> we need money. Yeah. Okay, so potatoes buy you until that wasn't a potato. Did I? I didn't. What? I'm. I'm got to put it in your inventory because you're holding a cauliflower still. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't mean. Can I dump that? Right. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> we have two cauliflower now. Yeah. If you okay. sell it back, it'll be less than what you right, pay. Right. So we're planting cauliflower. Okay. So I managed to get five potatoes out of that. So otherwise, uh, there were things to buy beyond that in the sense of now uh, flowers. You know, there are people who you can give gifts to and they like different things. And I'm sure there's somebody out there whose favorite thing in the whole world is a jazz flower. So that is a flower, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can start grass, which grows naturally, but uh, your, your, your animals will eat it. It'll turn into hay. And you might want to be setting up an animal area where there is no grass growing and you can kind of get some starters. But you can make that yourself later, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you... There's your recipe under there. Recipe under there. Your next option, the grass starter. Oh, the starter recipe. So it's not something that you level up to. You have to actually buy it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So otherwise, uh, later you can make foods in your kitchen that you can upgrade your house to to have, and then you're either going to be creating your own ingredients, or you can come over here and buy them. So yeah, there's there are other things you can decorate your home. Um, here, can you buy that from Robin as well? Yeah, she has furniture and stuff. Okay, and there's eventually an orchard, so you've got uh, trees. Can you, oh, well, they're very expensive. That's why you don't do it at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But you could get them planted early so that they're starting to produce later. And they each have their own season as well. They take a whole season, 28 days, to mature before they will produce. And if I had not paused the game, it would already be nighttime right now. <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why I wanted this, this feature added to it. That should be... A normal feature for the game I mean that's just a a quality feature that should be in every game I mean phones do ring <laughs> doorbells do go off and it technically is just not a multiplayer since we're both true you could just go things. to that other screen you know hit escape or E or whatever mm -hmm. it takes okay yeah I'll, I'll stop complaining <laughs> now. So, anyway we're broke again and let's run back and get some planting done um, I have one more space. Let's run down and see if I can't collect a shell or something. Or have you already done that? Not yet. So, she's going to be doing some things in the background, like collecting things when I'm busy trying to do other... Not a single shell. We do need to get this bridge built. You said that was 300 wood, or that was your mm -hmm. guess? Will it talk to me? There we go. 300 pieces of wood. This could be fixed. And there's great things over here worth a lot more money. So waiting for me to click. 
And we've already talked to Willie. <laughs> I guess while I'm out here, let me run over and show you where... Who just visited us? Uh, Clint. Clint is over here, his, his blacksmith shop. Right in here, if I remember right. Uh, one up. One up. So that... Why was that flickering so badly? Uh, mm -hmm. That is the library, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got quite a flicker going on on my screen. Ah, so that is the blacksmith. And while I'm here, I'll grab this guy. And I see a couple more of them. And since I have them in my inventory, I can keep adding more to that slot. But otherwise, my back, uh, backpack is full. All right. Yeah, there's a weird flicker over in this part of the screen. One thing I've always hesitant about adding mods, speaking of which, let's turn time back on, um, is sometimes they interact funny with your game. So either we're having a little interaction with one of the mods in the game, or my computer is saying, uh-uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, we need spring, boy, we're flickering all over now. All right, what Looks is... like your capture isn't, though. My capture isn't. Okay, well, that is one nice feature with OBS, unlike fraps that I used to use, is I can actually see what's recording. So it's nice to look over and see that you guys aren't seeing the flicker, but... My eyes are, you know, I'm glad I don't have, what is it, epilepsy? <laughs> that would have just triggered me. It was, it was getting a little wild there. Oh, that's you making that noise. <laughs> I ran through the gardens. You swiped over there, and I thought I just destroyed my plants. <laughs> 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 but let's run up in here and dump these off. And let's see, let's dump off. I'll dump off the seeds, too. I do want to go get those, uh, um, those onions. <laughs> So if you want to go, well, let's both go down and get some onions. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll plant the seeds that I just bought. There's a baby tree growing right there. So I think this is the path we're looking for. Running down below. Let's see if you run faster. Ah, you found one of those. Okay. Yeah, I'm flickering all over. I'm going to have a headache before I'm done. <laughs> Your screen's not flickering. It's just me. Mm -hmm. And that one is Leia, if I remember right. Right-clicking. There we go. Hi, Leia. There's actually a lot of wild food in the area, if you know where to look. Leia's place is down here, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one. Uh, if I click on you, I click here again. You walk away before I ever get a chance to, <laughs> to read. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Hmm, sounds good. So remind me where Leia lives. This that is this is um, uh, Marnie's place. This one's Leia. Leia, Marnie's up Marnie's here. Place. Ah, I forgot there are two houses down here. So Leia's down here, and her brother is Fabio, right? I, I, I don't think they're related. I think it's just Sebastian and Mario, her siblings. Okay. I thought, hmm, I thought they were... I thought conversations with them at the different celebrations led me to that conclusion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't see any onions in those fields. Not today, I guess. Was there... There was just the three. Huh. Maybe that was telling us about what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, there's a couple down by oh. the sewer. Yeah, there they are. So run down there and not grab one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you one. Oh, that's okay. So, oh, pop that up again. Oh, there it is. You popped up what I call the, uh, I know it's a horse a horseradish, but I call it the pineapple. Oh. And Oh, this one. Yeah, and I thought, wait, that's an onion? That's not an onion. <laughs> mm. All right, well, I'm going to run around here a little bit and then go up and, and do some planting. Mm -hmm. But I usually every day I'll water the plants, and I'll make this run straight down there, check those fields, diagonal through there, run over the bridges, come up and run down just low enough to see down in here. This is my, my normal daily routine when I play this on my own. Mm -hmm. Come up this side, checking for bubbles. Though, seems like I always found the best fishing was up over by Leia's place. Okay. <clears throat> who, who I thought was Marnie's. Mm-hmm. But up in here, it seems like whenever I'd run through this area, there'd be a bubble or two. Mm. Of course, it's not going to do it now that I'm looking for it. <laughs> okay. Then run back home, clear out some some uh, farm plots, 
Go off peek over here. Any more? Nothing more to grab. Okay. And get those seeds in the ground because their timer doesn't start until they're planted. And we have clovers over here. I do have a little space in my backpack. I'll grab the clovers. So clovers form in here. Any chance that the onions will ever form in here? No, it's just that one spot in spring. Why can I? Oh, that was that was a hoe. Oh. Then they're not wormies anymore, so yeah. I I don't think of them. I got me a chicken. Ooh. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Okay. And it's getting dark again. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go up and plant those things in the dark. So once you grab the seeds, and I will open these up and try not to kill these plants in the process. If I stand here in the middle, and it's too dark to see. Oh, that's frustrating. Now I was able to, in post editing, clean or you know, brighten things up. So I'll I'll do that again here each time. But uh, I wish there was a way. Is there a way options to brighten up the nighttime or anything like that? Sounds, graphics. There's no gamma, um, and my time is still going because we're in multiplayer. Lock toolbar, show transparencies, light quality, high, I guess that's what that means. Light quality, lighting quality, and that's it. So yeah, I have no way to brighten up the, the night times here. So I feel like another day went by and I did hardly anything. <laughs> so I think we're going to actually slow this down a little bit further. Feels, oh... It Didn't never reset. took. Well, maybe when you pause time, it resets. Okay, well, that was rather frustrating. <laughs> so it was just a normal day minus a few pauses. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to dump off my dirt. <laughs> and chicken statue. Well, I guess I'll go put my chicken statue in here. Yeah, I'm going to sulk now chicken statue just drop it on the floor <laughs> um you can put it on your table otherwise we could donate it to the museum oh that's right that's right so just go to bed <laughs> okay maybe tomorrow will be better <laughs> so do that and slow time no we're not there yet so we made another 350 so how about you successfully go buy some potatoes okay so i don't buy any more cauliflower <laughs> And starting the day, taking this up to 20 seconds. We'll get more into today to make up for the time I lost yesterday. All right, so weather report. Tomorrow, click again and clear and sunny. All right, which means, which is good for video quality. It's bad for, for planting because we're going to have to water everything. And there wasn't anything else. Fortune teller, I'll show it to you. I usually ignore it. I see a glimmer within my skin. Scrying? Scrying Scry. orb. Scrying orb. Someone's got a thesaurus. <laughs> a shard of knowledge from the future. <laughs> the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have extra luck. So you would then, what, head to the mine with that and... Maybe and fishing. Fishing. There you go. So we have some crops ready. Mm. So I'm pretty sure... If we, because we level up by harvesting, so if we do like half each, we can level okay. up our farming. Okay. So right click those. I need to go read the mail, but we'll get this done. And all right, you get those. Want a couple more? Sure. So hopefully we'll have harvesting level one. You start at zero, right? Yeah. 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 So level level one when we. Uh, I wake up in the next morning. Anyway, who's written us? To our valued Jojo Mart customers, they're the the dreaded corporation that is moving into our little town, Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> our team members have imagined the lands uh, have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation <laughs> near the mountain lake. 
I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant to Initiative L61091, JoJo Corporation Amendment, their own <laughs> amendment. Uh -huh. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconveniences this accident may have caused. As always, we appreciate your continued support and patronage. That <laughs> always got me. One more word. Morris, Joja customer satisfaction representative. Is Morris the one we meet there in the store? Yes. There's one employee. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Joja Corporation. Joja or Giorgio? Joja. Joja. Yeah. Joja. Joja. <laughs> Sorry, I'll quit. Mm. Anyway, we need to convert that money in. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me dump off the... Now, if I were to click on this... Oh, I got a star. Mm -hmm. I'll dump the star. But if I were to try to give you these and mm -hmm. click on that, I'd have to do it 15 times, right? Uh, Try clicking on me. I don't remember. Or left or right, whichever okay. one it is. Okay. All right, try that again. And offer a parsnip. So I'm offering mm -hmm. a gift. Yes, yeah, so we'll go into my inventory. But... I can only give so many gifts a day. No, this one, this is just a way to move stuff. Okay. I think. But it still acts as a gift. You got a heart. Anyway, to me, <laughs> it's easier just to say, yeah, why don't yeah. you grab those? Mm -hmm. We'll just save all of the silver and gold stars. We can use those later. We'll get into that, you know, a dozen episodes from now, <laughs> the rate we're going. Anyway, go turn, sell those and buy seeds and fill these up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to run down and look for more onions, and then I think do a little fishing. Yeah. Might see if I can find a fish or two. And I guess we could. Now that we're slowing time, it's already ten o'clock again. <laughs> let's let's pause for a while. I'm going to do something different. No, that's not the way the game's supposed to be played. But let's show off a few things this episode. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to head over to the mine out a single level or two not not anything significant show how that works and just go explore a little bit then we'll get back into normal episodes afterward but i don't want to do it in the dark that's the frustrating thing it is just flickering like crazy over here i'm gonna have to google that this i'm not taking my normal route here i'm gonna go back to coming out this direction there we go wait a minute that was my normal route i guess i have to go around this way I haven't played this for a long time. I usually come down, hit the bridge. Take that down, look for whatever has spawned for the day. And quite often, these fields are really full. But, uh, or these sand lots, or whatever you call them. There we go. But yeah, this has been kind of sparse lately. Yeah, and we'll head down. Nothing over there. Run across, holding this over my head, like, uh, I don't know, Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> and I never... Oh, that's right. We need. I need to put... Uh, well, that look like our little worms. I need to put chicken in the box for the next trip into the... Uh, uh, into the museum. Do you want to check your... Oh, that's right. Murr asked me in the comments, what is with that? And... I'm tunnel vision. I'm only looking over here. And if I look over here, it's just to see what this says. And then to complain about it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Does that move up through the day? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, learn something new. <laughs> but he said, you know, there's an exclamation point up there. It's been flashing at you for a long time. It, yeah, it has. So that is our journal. So advancements, raising animals, archaeology, foraging, all the different all things quests. we've been hinted about. So advancements, as you gain experience, you discover new crafting recipes to increase profits and make life easier. So this is kind of their tutorial in a yeah. way. It teaches you things about the game. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. And you get that apparently at farming level one. All right. Good to know. Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials, yeah, lots of stone and wood and... Uh, the 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 grass for hay is that right? Is that yeah, part of the things? 
for like roofs or what have you. Mm-hmm. What was the other ingredient? Um, there's clay and clay and some, some metals like sometimes. Yeah. yeah, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or a barn so that you can raise animals. No, we're not going to build a coop. <laughs> all right, or that is the quest: mm-hmm. build a coop. So I thought clicking on it might send me all the way up to Robbins. I don't want to do that. Archaeology. You found an ancient looking object. Could it be some kind of artifact artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunther, curator of the old museum, has the answer. All right. So we need to go visit our museum. And foraging. If you you keep them on there, once you complete them, you might get a reward. Fight. Oh, I'm I'm killing (laughs) him? You're killing him. (laughs) I thought I was just closing the page. No. Start over. <laughs> uh, it's probably not much. Some of the tutorial ones don't even give you anything. So. But I want the rewards. <laughs> if you're going to keep mining, you should build a furnace. Yeah. Okay. But then I've got to go and do this again. How do? Oh, I just click on the next one. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Getting started. If you want. To become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet to, on the tilled soil to sow a crop water every day. Yeah, so we've done that, and that was our reward for having completed that one. Mm-hmm. So I lost out on three <laughs> rewards, and I hit the X again. Mm. And so forging ahead, we're going to leave that one. We're not going to... So back is back what I'm arrow. looking for. Introductions. It would be nice. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. I've met nine out of twenty-eight people. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was kind of a <laughs> loss. We'll make it back. Yeah. 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 I'm okay. fishing. Fishing. <laughs> so you are over I'm, by Leia's. Um, I'm the next screen over under. Like Sam and Haley and... Oh, you're yeah. over in town. Yeah. Okay. So running through here, not seeing anything to collect. And were there any bubbles out here? I could run further that way, but let's just head over here. So fishing pole. And you're over there. I will give fishing one more try for the day, and then we'll perhaps turn time back on. So I've already got it. I just have to pathetically toss that mm-hmm. in and and wait for a hit. I found and one and I hit the wrong one again. So you just gotta be real quick. And click on me, click on the just or just click. Anywhere. And yeah. that is the right the click. Left click. Stop that. I, I did hit the left click. I just wasn't fast enough. I think that must so. have been it. Yeah. So hopefully, we'll stop and review this video before we finish. Hopefully, me talking over this direction, not at the mic, hasn't lost all the words that I've been saying in here. <laughs> okay, so click to raise the green and trying to keep it raised at the same and let go to go down and. Whew, Eventually, they throw a little surprise in there in the bar, and you've got to trace up and try to get the surprise without losing. Yeah, I can't do this in talk. <laughs> There's no way. I need. It's different when you're not making a video. You can just concentrate, but when you're talking, your your mind is in a different place. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not paying attention to the background here. So don't talk to me when I'm watching TV. <laughs> you can have a whole copy like that. Race up and get it, but don't let him go off the screen. And see, my, my green went down to yellow. It's easier when the fish helps you and goes <laughs> up to the top of the screen. So let's get this, the bar up as high as I can. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Lost it. <laughs> One more time. All right, good throw out there, good cast. Oh, and it already... Mm. <laughs> no, don't throw it in the tree. <laughs> okay, look that way and cast. A uh, little doofus there. A <laughs> little mini doofus. All right, I'm not talking to you anymore. You're just on your own. You got a can. Yay, trash. <laughs> All right. 
Now, there's something you can do with that trash later, but I'll let you tell the story about the recycler. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'll put you on the spot. Once you level up high enough something, or maybe fishing, you unlock a recycler you can put your garbage into and it gives you resources like sometimes wood or quartz or different things. There is no way to fish and talk. <laughs> I can't even fish and fish. <laughs> Oh, that was exhausting. I'm out of here. Oh, I didn't even read that again. I keep forgetting to do that. But let's run up here and... I'm going to put onions up there. Show you something else if we see anybody walking about. And by the way, in case you're wondering, that's pollen that is floating around in the air. Well, I'm not seeing anybody. They, they frown at you funny when you check the trash in their presence. So you, you kind of want to be a secret trash checker. And if I remember, oh, I got uh, seaweed, green algae. If I remember right, um, when sometimes in the trash you can find something like a trash hat. Oh yeah, there's a rare chance to get a, a trash lid. I managed to find that last time. So I walked around with a trash can lid on my head for <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> Mini doofus. Mm. <laughs> Um, no, I don't want to be here. I was going to give somebody a gift, but now everybody has just left town. <laughs> and this may not be the gift that they like, in which case they'll just politely say, Oh, um, <laughs> thank you. No, you're, you're not a somebody. <laughs> All right, I'm going back. All right, this time running. Let's get time running again. And did it happen? It happened. Okay, squirrel. <laughs> We used to have a dog named Cheyenne, and she just loved the word squirrel. Squirrel! <laughs> she would run to the window. Where? 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 Okay. Remember she, she caught one once. Yeah, and didn't she, know what to do with it. Yeah. Caught it, put it down, and stared at it like, now what do I do? <laughs> so, um, I'm right clicking. Oh, you had it open, not me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And dump that off. Okay, so did you get seeds? Uh, I already planted them, yes. And we still have money. So I'm going to grab some more. Yeah, I think I might have sold a few things. Yeah. So let's go. And so I usually don't put things, most things, in the bin. I usually run over and sell them directly, turn, turn them right into seeds, go back and fill up my farm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have Mayor Lewis. All right. Oh, hi there. Now, if I was Night Ghost 49 if you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's got some fun stuff over there. He played Stardew. I don't know if he did it in his YouTube series, but he did it on stream with a different voice for every character. And he... No, it was... Who's the hobo up top? What's his name? Linus. Linus. I think Linus, he did his old man voice, but <laughs> Lewis, he had a voice, and Fabio, <laughs> and, and all the... Yeah, he had a voice for everybody. It was a fun, fun series to watch. Anyway, Mary Lewis, oh, hi there. Voices I can't do, except I can do Gollum. <laughs> creeps out Mrs. Rambler every time I do that. What an eyesore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I won't do that. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Yeah, kind of. Actually, I, I like the vines growing up the walls. It used to be pride and, the pride and joy of town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Actually, they don't do that anymore. They <laughs> sit in front of their phone. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. I guess I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them this land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me just get attached to relics of the past. Oh well, if anyone else buys a Jo anyone else buys a Jojo company membership, ah, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I see. So, all the town is back peers kind of suffering from that too. They're buying from Jojo instead of him. Here, let's go inside. This wasn't what I planned on doing right now. 
I guess we'll add another five minutes to the video. So yeah, we're kind of broken down and we can see the dirt under the floor and we have to... Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. They're the two that, uh, that um, Penny takes care of. Why? What did he see that's different? I don't know. Maybe this a place. Hut or something? Oh, built a fort. I see. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh, uh, uh? This part I never really got. There's little <laughs> gremlins that live in here. What? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What's the matter? Are you ill? Why was that me? Do I guess I was humming. Hmm. Mm. Oh, Some well. little creature. Yeah, but I guess he didn't see it. Mm -hmm. Ah, you saw something? Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. <laughs> <laughs> he just lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're worrying me, Rambler. Yeah, I worry myself sometimes, too. Anyway, look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. <laughs> okay. So, eventually I'll get control again. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Okay, so the mystery of the rat. Mm. Strange. Oh, it's waiting for me. I'll have to come back and explore the building further. Okay. I was heading for the mine just to show that part off. Here's Penny? Robin. Robin. Get over here. Hey, hey, there we go. Um, you've met my son, Sebastian. Oh. Sebastian is Fabio? No, no Sebastian that's, is the dark he's hair. the uh, He's the goth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, you've met my son, Sebastian. He lives right here, and you're already gone before you have a chance <laughs> to click on you again. He's got stuff to do. Yeah, and this is Dimitri. It's Robin's husband. And there's Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, uh, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Okay, <laughs> Sebastian. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Yeah, that wasn't a good Sebastian voice. <laughs> so hey. on Friday evenings, most of the people in town go to the saloon. So that's a good time to like give gifts or talk to people if you want. Ah, so that's why you have a co-pilot here to remind <laughs> you of those kind of things. Squirrel! <laughs> Okay, so up in this direction, oh, there's Linus. Let's go say hi to Linus as it's already getting dark. Linus lives out here in the tent. And a stranger. Hello. Click on you again. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. And that's it. Okay, and sometimes you find goodies out here. And you wonder why Linus didn't pick them up, because <laughs> he's usually hungry. <laughs> And those would have been great eats. In fact, that's right. I can eat those eats and extend my time. I forgot about that. Your energy, yeah. <clears throat> oh, another long cut scene. <laughs> oh, this episode's <laughs> never going to end. <laughs> this is going to be a long one. Anyway, hmm. Okay. Eye patch, dude. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft, Marlin. It's been abandoned for decades. He probably wants me to go down there, doesn't he? <laughs> Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you're going to find. More of those little gremlins, right? Mm. Hey, take this. You might need it. <laughs> what do you got there? Aha, rusty old sword. You received a rusty sword. Rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Come back, you know, if you don't show up, we'll drag your dead body <laughs> out of there. I'll keep, uh, remember I said at the beginning, it's kind of a quiet, calm game where you don't, yeah, yeah. There, there are some lesser calm parts. <laughs> Prove yourself and I might think of making you a member. Okay, I'm just looking up at my sterling and noble clock. <laughs> 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 and we've been doing this for a while we need to think about shutting this episode down <laughs> I'm thinking mining is something that's going to happen in another episode mm -hmm. 
But eventually you get the minecart system fixed and upgraded and you can mine shaft or mine cart your way back home again. Or at least back to the bus stop. Yeah. Does this four corners map give um, you a minecart as well? Don't remember. I know some mods give you a, your own shortcut. And don't know what this does. Pop, you got a, a lost book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. So the museum and the library are both combined. Yeah. Okay. And 8 o'clock and it's already too dark to see. <clears throat> How do I get home from here? I'm going to go over the top. Yeah. There's a way through, but it's usually blocked early in game, isn't it? I mean... Um, I think you can get through. Yeah, it should okay. be cleared out enough. Because I can't see enough. When you guys see this, I will have brightened it up and you can see what's going on. For, but for me, i got bright lights up here. <laughs> and I, I need sunglasses. <laughs> I can't see where I am going. Let alone running into things that look like giant pineapples. <laughs> so, run across here and have no gifts to give in case I bump into everyone. But they're all in their, their own homes right now anyway. So running across here, I'll let you do the selling. Where am I? Oh, this is the road still, and that is the bus stop up above. Okay. There I am. I've got nothing to dump off, so I guess we will run home and call this day done and call this episode done. But let's go ahead and cash in and see what we get for the day. So going to sleep, yes. And level one farming watering can proficiency which means what i think you can hold more water okay and hoe proficiency so don't know what that one means <laughs> right eventually maybe oh it takes less energy i think that might be proficiency. oh energy so your bar doesn't go down which i didn't probably use any of my bar at all this time <laughs> and i gained basic fertilizer all right so okay on that one and I lost a whole bunch of potential uh, bonuses. <laughs> yeah, money out the out the window. <laughs> anyway, we gained another 385 from selling the fish and the plants, which these would net the. Oh, you'd have to go down to Willie to sell the fish. Yeah. Okay. So long walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the bin is convenient, but you have to wait a day to get to your rewards. Okay. So with that, we're going to call this one done. Next episode should start at the beginning of this day. And uh, we're going to edit a video and make sure that my voice talking out here even came through. If not, we're going to start this episode over again. No, we can't. We can't go back. This game doesn't give you saves like that. So we'll just... A lot and be really annoying for 45 minutes. Anyway, it's been Oval Rambler and Sarah. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.